Hello. Hello and welcome to the Tree Movies Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator video. In this video I should try and recreate the Stalingrad Battle of August 1942. Um, I've tried to recreate the battle scene as closely as possible with the Soviets on the left side of the riverbank here and um, them, uh, sorry, with Nazis on the left side and uh, sieging the city by the north and south. Two Soviet divisions in the uh, actual city itself and their auxiliaries to the east of the city in the Colosseum and on the other side of the bridge. Um, hopefully, we'll, same thing as real life would happen with the not uh, with Nazis. Well, yeah, with the Nazis getting flushed out by the Soviet auxiliaries coming in to help the troop uh, troops in the city and the um, violent brutals city fighting going on within the city walls. Um, I'm not sure what will actually happen, I uh, haven't done this battle before, but um, as for the numbers, uh, in, in the real battle there are 270,000 um, uh, Nazis and uh, 180,000 Soviet troops. Um, I've tried to recreate that, well, scale it down, because my computer wouldn't be able to handle, you know, half a million AI bots operating at once, but I've tried to scale it down so that, um, we get as closely as possible to the uh, real battle. Um, yeah, so um, in real life, yeah, as I told you, mentioned earlier, the Soviets flushed out the uh, Nazis and eventually went further and further west and well won the war. Um, I'm not sure what will happen here. Um, let's, so let's get going. Uh, oh yeah, and another thing is that um, I had to use U.S. troops as uh, the Soviets because. Um, there, well, there, there are, as of yet, there are no Soviet player models, um, and also, uh, I used a Roman era map, um, for the battles to take place in, because it's the closest map I can replicate Stalingrad with, and it's the only map that has a river and a town, so, um, I've, yeah, I've tried my best, uh, to replicate the battle using this map. Um, hopefully in the future there will be custom maps that I could use, but right now there is, uh, nothing like that. Um, so... Here we are, yeah, we spawned in. Uh, the time is uh, 5 a.m. and um, it's the weather is mainly sun with uh, some sun, yeah. Um, top weather forecast by the game developers there. And um, oh yeah, another thing is I couldn't set the weather to snowy, which would have made it hyper realistic, but hey, can't get everything. Um, so yeah, right now we're just waiting for the troops to get loaded in on uh, both sides. And oh, here we are. Right, okay, so let's just let's get the battle started as soon as possible, really. Okay, so, um, FPS is at about 5. Okay, that's much better than, uh, what it was the previous times I've attempted this battle, but it, like, I attempted this battle earlier, but it just lagged the computer. Okay, what are these guys doing? Wow. Okay, slowly, <laughs> these people are literally just running into the water and then drowning. Wow, okay, it's a clever AI there. Man. Alright, um, I hope they're not all like that. Oh no, some of them, some of them appear to be going over the bridge. Yeah, that's good. Alright, so they're just sprinting up and over. Alright, um, oh yeah, a good thing about this game is you can right click to possess, but I don't think I want to uh, take the lag risk by doing that. So let's go into the town and see how the, uh, uh Soviet troops are doing. Okay, so here's our more Nazis sieging the north, and they're already trickling into the town, and... Uh, we're gonna get some uh, urban fighting, hopefully. Oh, by the looks of it, um, the the Nazis are doing much better. They've killed 400 enemies as opposed to the 100 killed by the Soviets, brackets, and Americans. Um, well, okay, so they're pouring into the city. Uh, oh yeah, and also scale issues. I, mean, I know Stalingrad is not this small, but, <laughs> you know, um, as close as I can get. Okay, so I've, I've said the... Um, the uh, Russian troops just stay still and defend the city. Hopefully, that's what they'll do. Um, and they're okay, so they appear to be getting shot at from all sides by the siege sieges. I wonder how the east side is doing. Let's have a look at the uh, auxiliaries. Okay, so okay, so we have some intense battle fighting right here with um <laughs> both both yeah both armies on the east fighting it out over the uh over what appears to be this kind of hillock that goes into the city. Okay, so what have we got now? Okay, so we've already got... Wow, we've only got 2,000... Uh, already, it's, it's only 2,000 um, Soviets left. It appears to be quite quite a washout for them with only... And they've only killed 500 enemies. That's incredible, really. Um, yeah, the enemy count is a bit glitchy. You know, it's getting still in beta, but... Um, and then, yeah... Uh, well... Yeah, so now we've got... 
wow, well, the Nazis are everywhere. They're, they're occupying uh, Stalingrad. This is not what happened in the real life completely. This is completely different. Like, I was expecting a kind of mirror of the uh, real situation with, um, you know, uh, auxiliaries coming in to save the day, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. Let's, let's check up on the uh, Soviet troops. Right, okay, so they're still, okay, they're still holding out. Their numbers are still strong, but we've lost over half our men already. Oh, and um, one just got shot. Um, okay, so they're basically being attacked from all sides, and the auxiliaries appear. Um, as far as I can see, they're not really coming in like I thought they would. Um, maybe next time I could put some catapults in to replicate tanks. Although that might be a bit hard to uh, even even out among the uh, two sides. Okay, so we've got at the bridge. Um, it appears that they're making no attempt to cross the bridge. It's kind of annoying. Um, but uh, we still have fighting going on over the river, which is good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's Soviet auxiliaries. Okay, so in this version of events, Soviet auxiliaries are just being too, like, hammered by the Nazis to, uh, to be able to actually cross the river effectively. And wow, wow, the, the wow, 90, 90 troops left. Wow, we've, we've gone down quickly. So these are the last survivors, really. Man, okay, what about the Colosseum? They must be doing okay there. I mean, because they're the best defender position. I think it's more about right now the Colosseum people um, trying to defend their last position. Um, I think the town of Stalingrad's fallen, no doubt. Um, weird ton of events, so in this alternate timeline, the Nazis have captured Stalingrad, and therefore they are on track to capture the whole USSR. I mean, I, I suppose this is what would have happened if, you know, the, the Stalin's troops hadn't mobilized properly in the first place, and, you know, just gone on an all-out offensive tactically. Um, and also there are a few, like, you know, uh, fact, oh, 14 troops remaining, okay, really nothing left, okay, so I mean, there are a few, like, you know, small, um, oh, so now, wow, the, 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 okay, so, yeah, as it looks like, the Axis powers have just completely and utterly occupied this town, I mean, I can't see a single Soviet troop left, um, wow, well, destruct destructible props would be cool in this game, actually, an explosion, okay, so now they're all heading up to the Coliseum to finish off, the remaining eight troop seven six half or three yeah i'm probably not going to see the last of them i guess though oh oh that was just an all-out firing and the germans are victorious okay let's have a bit of a post battle i mean of course there are a few um uh real life things that weren't considered here like uh the fact that well you know there were about a thousand times more troops so the battle wouldn't have lasted you know what's how long is this battle this battle's gone on for about five hours now the battle would have lasted you know much longer, but it's just because, you know, we have so few troops here. And then also, um, I'm not mentioning the auxiliaries, like, at the end of the battle, I think the Soviets had more than the Nazis because they just kept sending troops that disposed, I mean, they were treated like disposables, you know, like, um, I think a million Soviets died, it was tragic, I mean, yeah, a half a million Nazis died as well, I think. But, um, yeah, we don't have that here because we can't actively send in auxiliaries due to, like, you know, the amount of lag that would just ensue. But, um, yeah, Stalingrad has fallen here, it appears. Um, I mean, the, the, the Soviet auxiliaries haven't come in like we thought they would. And, um, yeah, the, the, the last holdouts were in the Colosseum. Surprisingly, they never even managed to make it into um, into into the actual city itself. Uh, so, so most of the Nazis managed to move away from their positions, but the Soviets... So somehow the, the Nazis were able to get off... Um, their side of the river and in towards the main island, whereas the Soviet auxiliaries kind of, I think both of them just stayed on their sides due to just the heavy fire from the sieging Nazis, they were unable to just defeat, go through, straight through them. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind, I hope to do this again, actually recreate battles like this, but I mean, I think I'll do Stalingrad again, but slightly more, uh, in a slightly more realistic kind of tone, I suppose, with, um, you know, maybe I could somehow change the numbers up a bit, maybe using a higher performance, or well, use lower graphics so I can get more troops in, and then possibly get in a bit of tanks. And, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, thank you very much for watching.
I would like to thank my great friend Oliver Randall for making this video possible. Um, please check his channel out. He makes some great gaming videos, uh, just like the content our channel produces. In fact, if you like the content our channel produces, you'll love the content his uh, his channel has. Um, he particularly makes videos on the game War of Rights, an upcoming indie game. Um, and also he, he live streams very often. Um, I'd like to thank him especially for getting this game for me. Uh, he found ten pounds on the street, and instead of buying something for himself, he uh, noted that I had mentioned this game to him in the past and he bought it for me that was that's such a nice thing for him to do um g giving him this shout out is the least i could do really for him and i beg you all please to subscribe to his channel he he's he's looking to get to you know 50 100 and um yeah he makes some great videos so i really do recommend you check his channel out